bloody fantastic. Uh, boys worked hard for 10 months and uh, oh, it's good to see the hard work's paid off this year. What about you going in as underdogs and Rangers beat you by seven goals during the year, but what did Keith have to say before the match? Well, uh, oh, last week we beat the Stingrays by uh, pressure and you know, hard tackling in, uh, in, the, in tight in the pack, so this week it was kind of the same stuff and uh, paid off. What have you got to say to your mates watching? Uh, g'day. <laughs> Plenty <laughs> of beers tonight, lots of fun? Oh, no, 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 no. no all Not soft yet. things, Scott. You're all <laughs> under age. We can't say that, can we? But you better get back. All the boys are having a good song. Thanks, mate. Congratulations. Have a great day. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Never stopped you, Russell, did it? <laughs> well, what can we say about Eastern Rangers? Great uh, progress from last year, Terry. They came right up the table. They headed the ladder, finished on top, beaten only twice during the home and away series. And there's a lot of great talent out there, and uh, Pete was saying just towards the end of the match that Flynn probably BOG, and I wouldn't argue with that. Uh, Haynes played well, Johnson. Uh, we're Punder are going to hear plenty of uh, about that young man. But today just wasn't their day. No, it wasn't. Uh, you know, it's important now Chris Connolly really wraps this up for his players because I think it's been a tremendous effort for them to, to come on and get to where they've come from. Uh, the Eastern Rangers, they're really establishing themselves as a club out around the Croydon area there. And, you know, some of the players from last year, like Brett Chandler, played with Fitzroy this year, Danny Hargraves, Brad Nicholson, Raiden Tallison, the, Chris Scott, the, the rookie of 94 out of Eastern Rangers. So the, they really are establishing a very good base out there and today will do their reputation as a, an up-and-coming football club, no harm whatsoever. Because when you do a match like this, you look forward to the draft just to see where the players finish up for their AFL careers. Keith Burns, victorious coach today, three in a row. He'd be pretty happy, Russell Morris, I think, wouldn't he? He certainly is, Peter. Um, bit misty around the eyes, Burnsy. Yeah, shed a tear or two, not, not frightened to either. And that's fantastic, mate. Yep. Third in a row. Yes, yes, uh, we've got a group of young boys and uh, coming into the finals they were boys but now they're men and they played that way must be very very proud very extremely proud i reckon it was the best effort of the three was this one because they're so young what did you say to the guys going in as underdogs would you prefer to do that do it that way i think i think it's always easier as a coach to be underdog because you can always fly but we we played our own game we weren't worried about eastern and setting up uh, defensive measures we play an offensive game and we played that and we worked hard on our defense when they had the ball and that was the simplicity of it what was the difference between playing them earlier in the year when they knocked you off by about seven goals and today uh, just our maturity. We've grown a lot. They've learned a lot about footy and uh, you know that helps them. In the finals, in the first final, they were a little bit uh, underdone in, in experience but they grew each week as they come along and, uh, and finals is about taking that little 5% step and these boys took 5% each week and consequently today they showed how they wanted to win and that's a key to playing football. Having that desire, that steely desire to use Tony Shaw's word, steely desire to win. Congratulations Bernsey. Thanks, have, have a great day. We will. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Tonya Bernsey and thanks to uh, Keith too for his help during the week and uh, also to Chris Conley and Peter Kennedy from the Rangers for giving us all the stats and information about the players. Uh, it's time for the presentation now so uh, the man to do that is of course Craig Willis. Here he is. Thank you, Ladies and gentlemen, to make the presentation in the VSFL Under-18s Premiership, allow me to introduce to you the Managing Director of the Transport Accident Commission, Mr James McKenzie, who will begin by presenting the medallion to the player adjudged best on ground today. And the winner is Brent Harvey of the Northern Knights. to present the grand final trophy, the Live and Learn Cup. I'll ask Mr McKenzie to present it to the Northern Knights captain, Daniel Lowther. So a few words, Daniel. Three in a row. Yeah, uh, it's a good feeling. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank the uh, TAC, Learn and Live, for their hard work through the year. Um, Northern Knights supporters, every week, coming out to support us. It's a great feeling. And uh, the Eastern boys, bad luck boys, but uh, good luck next year. That's all. Well done, Daniel. Congratulations. And I'd invite you now to take your team on a lap of honour here at the MCG. So the Northern Knights to do their lap of honour and it will be interesting to see who gets drafted to where. I mentioned earlier that more players have been drafted
from the Northern Knights than any other club in Australia since the inception of the under-18s. And after they have won the flag here again today, maybe that trend will continue. But some great talent out there on both sides. And our congratulations to both teams for making the grand final. There can only be one winner today. For the third year in succession, though, it is the Northern Knights. Grand final day 1995. We'll take a break from the MCG back in a moment.